Welcome back to In the Zone. It's been no secret. If you want to win the WIC, you have to go through Norfolk. Many thought that might not happen this year after they graduated one of the most successful senior classes ever, but here we are in week six of the season. And tonight, the Knights were playing for first place in the WIC West Division. The Knights traveled to unbeaten North Putnam. First offensive play of the night for Norfolk. Corbin Allen rips off a 20 yard run while carrying several Knight defenders. The Knights would have to punt. Northview's defense is really good. Parker Jordan tips the ball to himself and returns it for the pick six. Nice play, Parker. Northview up 7-0. North Putnam would answer with 21 straight points. Maverick, I love that name, Maverick Summers tossing TDs all over the place. But against the nice defense, they would step up. Maverick got a little greedy. Braxton Sampson reads the pass perfectly. That's another pick six. For the Knights, Norfolk rallies from 14 down at the half to win 50 to 35. The Knights move to 3 and 0 in the WIC and take over sole possession of first place in the West Division. Two and three, Sullivan needed a win at Greencastle tonight to get back to the 500 mark. Third quarter, Arrows facing third and long. Carter Vernelson throws it right in the bread basket for Kevin Fig, who races 61 yards Big to the house. Big man. Sullivan 21 nothing. Arrows defense was great. They get to the Greencastle QB. Jackson Shake with the sack. Jake Skinner was great rushing the football for the Arrows. Picks up 21 yards. In the Greencastle territory, he went for 111 on the ground. Same drive, Skinner works his way in from 17 yards out to give the Arrows a four-score advantage. Sullivan wins 35-7. to Arrows pick up their first WIC win. Sports Sense Dominic Miranda also took in some WIC action. What do you got for us, Dom? West Vigo was going for their fifth win of the season. A victory tonight would give the Vikings a 5-1 mark. It'd be their best start since 2010. West Vigo hosted South Putnam, and it was packed at Jay Barrett Field. Viking country was rocking, but not for very long. Second possession for South Putnam. Sophomore Matthew Goodpaster keeps his legs going and punches it in from the one-yard line to put the Eagles, Eagles up 8 to nothing early. Now in the second quarter, it's fourth down for South Putt. Doesn't matter. Junior quarterback Raleigh Stone rolls to his right and connects with his receiver Hayden Switzer. Get off me. Switzer breaks free and is off to the races. He goes 34 yards for the touchdown. 15-0 Eagles. West Vigo tried to get something moving after converting on a fake punt. Senior QB Dane Andrews drops back but is picked off. Check out that INT by Garrison Bach. West Vigo fought back but South Putnam gets a big road win in WIC play. Each team goes into week six with a 4-2 and two record. I'll be back with a couple of games from Illinois. For now, back to you, Marty. Thanks, Dom. Up in Park County, Park Heritage holds the bragging rights as the only unbeaten football team in the Wabash Valley. Tonight, the 5-0 and o Wolves travel to South Vermillion to see if they could keep that streak alive. First quarter, Seth Bollinger receives the handoff and carries a host of Wildcats with him as he goes on to pick up the first down. That's big man football right there. Next play. Let the guy who got you there finish it off. I love that mentality. Bollinger again punches it in for the Wolves. They lead 14 to nothing. Wildcats looking for an answer as Anthony Garzalini connects with Peyton Hawkins. And Hawkins runs completely untouched for a touchdown. South Million now trails 14 to 7. Next series for Park Heritage. It's the Wolves version of Brissett to Hilton as Logan White connects with Austin Petrillo for the long touchdown. Nice. Wolves in charge 22 to 7. Park Heritage remains unbeaten on the season as they beat South Vermillion in this one 46 27. Still to come, we have highlights from North Knox, Casey Westfield, and Marshall. And we have something different for you a huge volleyball match between Bar Reeve and Lagodi in the zone. We'll be right back.